Hey guys, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and I want to explain to you the reason why I moved over to the Works Landroid versions rather than the Husqvarna auto mower versions for mowing certain pieces of my lawn. Now about two and a half years ago we purchased this Husqvarna 450X. It will do like three quarters of an acre of grass that doesn't include hardscape, doesn't include anything other than grass. Same with this Landroid unit, this will do a quarter acre of grass. So you have to cut out every little piece, basically go by square footage. But what we didn't like about the Husqvarna right off the bat was the fact that it can only cut the grass to two and a half inches tall at max height. Now they have since replaced this with the 450XH, which I believe will go to three and a half inches but we are still moving over to the Works Landroid models and I'm gonna explain a little bit why. First, we increased the size of our yard by purchasing the lot next door, putting in a circle drive, fencing in a larger area in the back and adding in some more landscape to the side. In doing so, we've created certain sections of our yard that are very hard to get to for a automatic mower. It'd have to cross a driveway. It would have to go through dirt certain areas or cross through fences, which we don't want holes in and we don't want to move them around. So first, the cost factor. This 450X is about $3,500. This Landroid is around a thousand or less. So this Landroid is currently set up to work on the inside of our lawn. Now, any of the pictures you're seeing are flat out middle of the summer, Lawn is dead. We're working on it. It's, uh, we planted it last year. So kind of getting this set up for the fall. Works is talking a lot about AI and how they're making it smarter. And there's different modules that you can put into this, like where is my Landroid, which is a GPS unit that uses a cellular signal. So you don't have to have a Wi-Fi signal to tell it where it's at. It works through a boundary wire, but then knows kind of where it's going throughout there through that where's my Landroid and or your Wi-Fi. So there's a lot of advantages to going to these new models, but the biggest one to me is that this will cut right out of the box to three and a half inches tall. And when you look at the bottom, we have our cutting disc off to the side. That allows it to go up to the boundary wire and cut right to the edge. It also has these fins up front that allow the grass to stand up before it's cut. And when you look at the Husqvarna, you basically just have your cutter right in the center. So it cannot get very close to anything, even if it bumps into it. I think that's a huge advantage that will make for less trimming. Now with this model, I'm hoping to get by with a little bit of chemical trimming around the fence and allowing this cut to the edge unit to get close enough to everything else where I don't have to touch it. Adjusting the height, very simple. That's it. There's no electronics to go through, no electronic motor to move things up. I like that part. There is a lot less electronics on the works model. You can adjust so many things on the Husqvarna that it, it's almost a huge learning experience to dive into. The works is pretty simple. It's set it up, charge it. Do you want a rain sensor or not? Where the Husqvarna actually used your weather, the internet weather for your area to know what it should be doing. So if the internet weather said, it was raining, that's what it went by. It, it really, the rain sensor on it is here, it's underneath, but it didn't work as well. It liked the internet weather much better. Again, looking at the bottom, we use razor blades to cut on this. We have a three wheeled system rather than four. Good and bad, I think. Uh, we might get a little bit more movement back and forth on this, but the tires, since you are moving along the same path multiple times, especially when you do a single edge cut, which it will do twice a week or every day, whatever you set up, these tires have cleats. These cleats are the only thing that's actually touching the ground, so they are the only thing that will pack the lawn, per se, over time. So these cleats will allow you to go over the same path multiple times without having the lawn break down, which you can see they're much smaller on the Husqvarna. 
and in all honesty, we would get a path back to the charger on this because it only cuts for about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. It goes back, charges for two hours, comes back out. So that path to the charger is getting used multiple times. They both have a manual stop button on them. A lot of people have always asked, what happens if I have a pet? And our dog is not really thrilled with something new moving around in the backyard, but they both work well with pets. They're both completely pet safe. Now, if you don't clean up enough of your pet's waste, you will end up with a dirty auto mower, which is not exactly great. Uh, you can see when you look underneath, there's, it's pretty protected. You're gonna get the waste on the outside. It's not gonna get up inside the cutting area as much. So cleaning these off is important. You just want to hose off the outside, gently stay away from the electronics. Uh, it's one of those things that you have to deal with and keep your yard clean. I think you should keep your yard clean anyway, uh, but this keeps you on it more daily than maybe sporadically. Other than that, the one thing I've noticed to date is that you, the rain sensing units on the works model are very sensitive. They tell you to keep it away from sprinkler systems. Flat out, no one's gonna do that if you have a sprinkler system because your sprinkler system was set up to control your whole yard. So rather than just making a house for this guy, I had to turn the rain sensor off because I'm watering early in the morning, late at night. This unit was actually put in the shade, so it's not drying until late in the afternoon. And then by the time it starts to get out to cut, I'm watering the lawn again, it's going back to cut. So I'm setting up my schedule online. When it comes down to it, guys, these both are cool units to have. I can't in Michigan cut my lawn at two and a half inches long. It will just dry to a crisp. It's a cold weather lawn that we have up here and it likes being cool or it likes being really long so you can shade it so it doesn't dry out. The works model works a lot better for me and flat out $900 is still a lot of money to put into something that I'm not going to know is going to stick around forever and it's battery operated. The battery is tucked inside this guy where the works model, it's a tool battery. So I can grab any other works battery off the shelf at Lowe's, whatever I want, slide it in here as long as it's a 20 volt and I have a new battery. So all I have to rely on is this auto mower to keep running, change the blades as needed as they probably will only last a month or two. They're just little razor blades. They go in multiple directions. That's the big kicker here. I have less expensive, easier battery maintenance, better cutting height. Maybe I have quite a bit less area I can cut with this, but I can have multiple small works models that will do the same amount as this large one. And I think that's better because my investment is less. If one breaks, I didn't just lose $3,500. Let's be honest, $3,500, even $1,000 buys a nice, or in some cases it'll buy a, a tremendous push lawnmower and $3,500 will buy you a fairly nice riding lawnmower. Although nobody wants to spend that money and the idea of this is to have more time with the family, have more time doing other things rather than mowing your lawn, because maybe that isn't your thing. But either way, there's a lot of money here. So if you're gonna invest in something, I'm of the fact of get something that's gonna do a really good job, don't have a ton invested in it, because if it breaks, you're screwed. There's a good warranty on both these models. But I think that the cost factor on the works is there. Now, if you have a little bit larger yard, uh, works makes the Landroid L model that will do up to a half acre of grass. We're going to continue to test this out and try it, show you what's going on, show you the installation of it and show you how things go. But I wanted to do a quick comparison as to why I went in a different direction after having a very expensive and very nice Husqvarna. So if you haven't seen the Husqvarna video that we did a while back, check it out. I go over my full experience of having this for a summer, sitting and cutting our yard, what I thought about it, what everything. I'm going to do the same thing with this Landroid, but what I want to do is get it into use in the fall when there's some good grass to cut. Right now, there just simply isn't enough grass to put it out there and say, okay, how's it doing? Because half of it's dead. So 
I appreciate your time, guys. As always, please give us a like in this video. Leave us your comments in the bottom. I always like to respond to you guys, see what's happening in your life. Thanks for your time again. Have a great day.